Girls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how you can look like Jennifer Long. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with her, she is from Monster High. She's from the uh, Eris City of Fright, so it's the one where they have the, uh, the fashion design challenge in Paris. Um, yes, it's pretty cute. I love the hair, I love this little headpiece, it's so adorable, but the wig isn't quite right because this should be like a full little ball, but there isn't enough hair to make a full little ball thingy there. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. My lip shape makes my lips look bigger, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, um, I have not showed a costume for this video because I don't have anything that could work for this, so literally just the hair and makeup. But yes, if you want to find out how to get this Junifier look, then keep watching. Okay, I've already moisturised and primed my skin, so I'm going to go straight in with my base. And um, her skin tone is like golden. I don't have anything like that, so I'm just bought just a full coverage foundation and pop that on the skin. Could always do your base with the golden face paint that would also work. I'm going to do to warm up my face and make it more like Jennifer's. I'm going to be taking this bronze palette that I just have, and I'm going to be taking this sh golden shimmer shade here and popping that all over the face. work extremely well so I'm going to try a different uh, goldeny bronzer. I'm going to mix these two bronzing shades here. Um, I'm not a bronzer person so I don't have any like amazingly pigmented high-end bronzers. Next up for the brows, Jennifer has brown brows, but mine are super super dark, so I'm just going to have to use the dark brown. I'm going to be taking Oak from the Metal Matte Palette, and I'm going to start off drawing in the brow shape, and then I'm going to add the extra bit at the end. Normal brow shape, then I'm going to draw in the extra pieces she has on her brow. Okay, for the eyes I'm going to start off with a light base, so I'm taking the shade Bone from the Metal Matte Palette, which is an off-white. There's a type of cut crease thing going on, so I'm going to take the closest eyeshadow colour I have to that, which is Velvet, and I'm going to start mapping out um, where I want the shadow to be. to line my lips using a very coloured lip liner and I'm going to try and mimic the shape of her lips. Add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Add a slight bit of contour, I'm just going to be taking the darker shade in this palette. taking the wig and popping it on. So that is the finished Jennifer Long makeup look. I don't have a doll for reference. Um, 
the only thing I've really got is the front of the wig packet but you know that's just a kid dressed as Jennifer um, yes I don't have any kind of costume that could work with this they do sell a costume in the shop that I work in but they only had it in a kid size medium so that will definitely not fit me so yeah um, this is just going to be just the makeup and the wig but yeah I feel super weird in this I think the eyebrows are the weirdest thing of my life but you know it's kind of cute this headpiece is actually surprisingly really light I thought it would be really heavy but it's not too bad it doesn't look that different to my normal hair, I just like the black streaks that she has. You know, maybe some style inspiration there. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down below what you thought of this and if you would dress as Jennifer for Halloween. I have two more videos in my Monster High mini series coming up, so look out for those and once they are done they will be linked in the bottom of this video. And I'll, actually I'll make a separate playlist for the mini Monster High mini series, so you can watch them all there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more spooky content. Bye.